Yeah, can you can actually get him to take it. Oh, it blew me! <laughs> Look at my Archie! It's <laughs> a legendary Master of Torch. Yeah, boy. Oh, look at her. She looks so awesome. Alright guys, it's Mosh Man. I'm back on Arc Extinction. Doing some Argentavis hunting. Don't seem to be able to find that many for some reason. This one I've just rescued from a corrupted pterodon. And it was almost dead. It's a level 95. Just trying to get him to heal up a little bit and get him to follow me. But all the Argentavises I've found so far have been like level 5, level 10, yeah, just low level 1s. I did see a level 100 earlier, but literally as I got to it, 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 it was dying to a T Rex in the middle of the wasteland. So I'm going to settle for this 95. What level are them ones? Ooh, there's a 120 over there. Is it nearly dead though? No, it's not. Wow, I might have a change of plan here. Let's see if we can get this one. Oh man, this is not good. Probably should have got a parachute for come over here doing this. Oh, that's dead. Aggro this. Gowed it. So it wants to land there, doesn't it? Let's see if we can get a track on it. No, this isn't very pretty. Right, let's get on here. Heal up a minute. I want to pause here. Is that it? Oh boy. Right, I'm going to have to get him somewhere safe, I think. If I can get him down into the crater forest, that would be absolutely ideal. Right, that is a turn up for the box. I hope I can get him, because he looks amazing, and he's a 120. This is looking good at the minute. Now, it's going to be super messy, I know, but uh, I've not really got any other way of doing it right now, and I really need this RG. He's off. I think he's about to pass out, hopefully. Oh, he's down. Oh, I hope that last uh, arrow didn't get him. I should have got my spyglass out and seen what his Tapor was on. But I, was, I thought he might fly off, which is silly, really. I could have just followed him on Cyborg anyway. It wouldn't have mattered. But obviously, he might have flown back at the top there. Oh, sweet, yeah, that's all right, that'll do. So he passed out after I hit him, so that's all right. So that is a result, really, isn't it? Couldn't find anything, only level 5s and 10 Argents. Flew all around the outside of the city walls, it was my first tactic, trying to find them, didn't find anything, see, like, two low levels. And then uh, I see that level 9-5 that I saved, and while I was trying to get that one down, I see this one, so not bad. And I think there was a level 90 at the top of there as well. He's tamed, 179. Oh boy. Looks pretty cool as well. I'll uh, get him over to the um, base I've started down here and uh, get him levelled up. Just flying around levelling up the Argent. And I uh, found a 174 tech parasol. Wait for him to knock it out. Don't seem to be able to bowler it for some reason. I thought you could bowler him. Gowled it. It's handy where he's landed because I've uh, got a 140 raptor taming up over there. I was flying back to get some bowlers to uh, pin down the raptor and uh, I flew over that parasaur. So. Knocked out the raptor and then went back to get him. Let's go check on him. Oh, I think it's awake. Oh, yeah, 209 it tamed that. Sweet, it's game over with me. 
Thought, can't turn down a 140 Raptor, can we? We've got a high level uh, tech Raptor, so uh, if I don't use it down here, we'll take it over and put it in the pack. And uh, just want this because it looks cool, really. <laughs> Why not? Oh, yeah. Let's get these back now. Then. So I'm just uh, at my new base that I've been building down here in the uh, crater forest. Got the gachas set up here. Still got to go get some more owls and stuff. That's part of the AA mod. I turned the AA mod back on because I wanted the uh, vacuum to pick up the crystals that the gachas drop and set up here a loot box. This is what we've had so far out of it. Uh, we've had some out in the other video. Got another shotgun. I think we got the pump action shotgun. I think that's the only different item from the last video. But also, just got this, and I wish I was recording, but I was just messing about, you know, farming stuff, so it was just boring stuff, didn't bother recording. Uh, come back and opened a couple of crystals, and I got an Ascendant Metal Hatchet, 322 weapon damage, and a Mastercraft Long Neck Rifle with 224% weapon damage. So uh, I've just crafted up a load of gunpowder and simple ammo, and I'm just getting some Trank darts made up. And we've got a proper Trank gun. But yeah, it's looking pretty cool down here. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'll have the two gachas there next to that hut, I'll leave them there. I'll line up the owls behind them probably, because the gachas just pick up the owl poo on their own. The gachas have got to be 12 foundations apart, so I might get another two on this side or something like that. And they should be alright then, shouldn't get depressed, and you can have two sets. And I'll do that as many times as I can in here, I think, but yeah. Oh, and I also got um, the apprentice flat leggings with um, 182 armor and 282 durability but obviously the main thing is the uh, mastercraft long neck oh yeah that one looks awesome oh it's a 140 just uh, looking for a trike I've got um, stuff to make a taming pen on me and get to try out the new uh, mastercraft long neck rifle so I'll just put it down somewhere here huh well I can't place it here then Oh, well, that's strange. I think we found a bug. Oh, what is that about then? Can I place the uh, pillars? Can't place them either. Oh, okay, is it because it's S+, plus? let's see if I can make a normal one quick. No, can't even place a normal one. Okay, so it's not the mod. So I could probably uh, tame it without the pen, but I want to work out why I can't do this. It's a bit weird. So I think, from what I just read online quick, there's some parts of the crater forest count as a cave so like here I think the game thinks it's a cave but there it's not uh, it seems to be separated by a river I can put this down anywhere in the river but I just can't put it over this side here I seem to be able to do it so what I'm going to do rather than change the server settings is uh, see if I can set up a pen on the edge of it and just walk the trike over it right so I've got a little pen set up I think I'll kill this Ferrazinosaurus. Hopefully a higher level one might spawn here. It'll save me having to worry about it while I'm trying to tame the trike. Sweet. Alright, let's uh, try and get her over there then. So I've got 59 trank darts on me. I hope that's enough. Oh, shit. God, I thought I was going to die to the trike then. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Right, let's get her in this gate now, hopefully. Oh, she didn't go in. That's got her. Oh, she's down. That didn't take long. I think that was uh, seven darts, because I missed one. Because there it is in the wallet. I'll go and get some uh, food for it. Oh yeah, super fast tame when she's hungry. Oh yeah, Trixie the Triceratops. Oh, look at her. She looks so awesome. Alright, let's get some berries farmed up then. And get some trank darts on the farm. Oh no, Hugan's being attacked. Let's charge up. Oh boy. What are you doing, you silly little dillo? Oh yeah. Easy. 
Oh boy, quickest berry farmer, yay! Oh, he stopped. I thought he was going to charge through him, swinging his head. So, of course, the uh, Bronnos are king of berry farming, right? But um, I actually think the trikes have got to be second, right? Got to be. They're pretty quick at moving around compared to like a Stegosaurus. They do get quite a lot per swing. They hit quicker than the Stegosaurus anyway, so I think that would make up for the difference in berries gathered in one swing, say, if there is a difference. But I just think the movement alone makes up for it. The Stegos are so slow. But like I said, obviously the Brontos are king of berries, but definitely uh, trikes are a lot easier to tame than the Bronto for the most part. And obviously you can get the saddle early. It's got 11k berries now on the trike, so that'll be uh, plenty for now though. So I'll just get here again and uh, we'll get back to the base. So I'm just getting some narcotics crafted up and uh, I've got plenty of berries but I need some more spoiled meat. So uh, it seemed like a pretty good time to introduce you to this thing. I'll just put it up here for now, I might move it later. It's a meat spoiling mod. Obviously one comes with the AA stuff which I've turned on now which I didn't have on when I started. But uh, this one is the funkiest of all the funkiness as far as meat spoilers go. But not only does it spoil the meat for you super quick, it plays a funky tune. Oh yeah. There you go, you can see it cooking up there nice and quick. Yeah, I've heard this way too much. Super cool mod, I love it. You don't want to listen to funky music when you're crafting stuff, eh? Also, I don't know if I showed you this yet. This is the new um, AA mortar and pestle, which is obviously meant to be like a <laughs> primitive chemistry station. But it's really cool. You can fit a lot of stuff in it. You can make everything you can make in a mortar and pestle here. And uh, I think it crafts up quicker than a normal one as well, which is good. So I'll just turn this off a minute. And uh, I'll show you the AA spoiling bin. That's the AA spoiling bin. It's just an old like oil drum type thing. So if I put 200 in there, quickly put this in there and turn it on. So with the spoiling bin, you just keep putting meat in there and it slowly does it. But if you look at it compared to that, oh yeah. Meat spoiler is actually better than the uh, spoiling bin. I mean, even if it was the same speed, it'd be better just for funky music. Which, by the way, if it doesn't know, you can turn it off. I don't think you can do it in the options, but you can do it with a uh, command line. You can just drop it in your server settings. But yeah, that done 200, that done 5 in the same amount of time, so boom, there you go. That's 11k narco berries into narcotic pots. Just under 4.5k narcotics out of them, which is not too bad at all, is it really? I had one pot left, <laughs> so I did need them. So I've got a few crystals uh, saved up while I've been messing around, including a master craft and three apprentice ones. And the others are all just normal gacha crystals by the look of it. Don't even say they're primitive. Let's get them open and see what we got. Start with a mastercraft, obviously. Oh, do you want to, let's open the other ones first, we'll leave that. So it's getting polymer. Obviously that's what we've got the gachas set to, um, producing polymer, so you should only get that if you don't get an item. So let's try these apprentice ones. Oh, Journeyman Riot Helmet out of an Apprentice Crystal. What the hell? Oh, yeah. 377 durability, 291 armor. Oh, man, these crystals are broken. An Apprentice Gadget Crystal dropped that. That's insane. What else are you going to get? Oh, we doubled up on it, boys. I can't remember which one was which. Oh, so... This one's got 457 durability. It's got more durability, but it's got lower armor by one. <laughs> oh, mate. Hat trick? Oh! <laughs> Almost another helmet. Chitting helmet. 149 durability. 136 armor. Oh, my God. Wow. Come on, this has got to be amazing. We've just got three journeymen out of Apprentice Crystals. Ascendant simple pistol. Oh, it's Ascendant at least. But shame it's a pistol. Oh my god. This one I've been back, I've just 
chucked them some metal. It's like uh, Jamala here, she's got the buff on already. She's got four pellets in her identity there. She might take them out for now and uh, save them up. But yeah, that's it. I've just been doing that when I'm in the camp. Got the A vacuum on now, so that's been picking up the crystals for me. And uh, look at all that. <laughs> oh my god. I want a gas bag. Where are you? Did you see me? Yeah, you can see you can fly over me. Can you actually control it? Yeah. It's like a blimp. Oh, check it out, guys. We've got a gas bag. Callum's got a gas bag. Look at it. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Wait, you're flying backwards. Actually fly like a blimp. Yeah. What else does it do? Oh, it's got a saddle on the back and you sit on the front. What? I think it's just bugs. Can you sit on it? Ride as passenger. Oh. oh my god. Oh, they're so cool. And you got a red one. He looks well good. Oh, there's the 140. Yeah, the blue one. Yeah. Between the blubs and the base. <laughs> Between the blubs and the tame pen. Yeah, can you actually get him to the tame pen? Oh sh! It blew me! <laughs> <laughs> Look at my Archie! <laughs> Going. <laughs> oh. oh, it looks so cool, that blue man. <laughs> that is so cool, that animation it flies off. Oh, he's asleep. His darts are so good. Oh, shit. Have I still got a monkey on my head? Yeah, I have, yeah. This one's a purple monkey. Is it? I've got a ginger one. Oh, well, let's have a go in the gas bag then while we're waiting. Oh, mate, it colours well nice. Oh, it actually expands? Yeah. <laughs> Just keep, it, keep, care, keep an eye on the, uh, the oxygen. You want to keep some for when you're falling down to press W or spacebar. <laughs> and then, 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 you take more Wait, what? in his life. What's happened? You ran out of auction, bottom left. Oh right. Bottom so they don't literally fly all the time then? No no no. You need a you need that pump oxygen, stamina and life pretty much. It uses stamina to use the blur ability. It uses the oxygen I believe for like the amount it stores. Then obviously life. Wait, how do I save it? <laughs> Leave some in there and then as you're about to hit the floor just hold space bar. So it like stops it falling. This is so much fun. Your eyes look cool, man. It's like the one we had. Killed it. How do I come down? Down, down. I don't know how. I'm just going up. No, I don't go up. I can't. Callum, I'm going to kill it. How do I come down? You have to let it glide and then just space while you get close to the floor. Oh, that's so cool. It literally glides. Ah, oh, they sound so cute. Yeah. When when you level up, has it got a level? Yeah. Use it and look at the animation, it's so what? cool. Oh my god, it does a barrel roll. Barrel roll. Row, row, row. <laughs> it's so good. What's it doing? Yeah, he... Getting some air, mate. Ah, oh, look at it. Hello. Oh man, they're so cool. I didn't know they looked this cool. I thought they'd look stupid, but they actually look good. The monkey just pooed on my head. Oh, oh yeah, man. you got your monkey on you. Yeah, that he's ginger. Oh, he's actually put. He's so purple. Look at him. You got a purple yeah. monkey. Ah, uh, they dick up. They big as stickers. All right, let's go. Where are you then? Are we going? Are we? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. actually not that slow, is it? No, I might have to get one of them for moving stuff. They're so good. They just can't carry any. Kind of annoying. Can't they? No. Oh, you mean underneath them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you sat in the basket at the front if you was wondering. Oh really? Yeah, you sit around the neck. That's quality. Yeah. If you come in here in the vacuum, that's what I got from earlier. Then. Oh, and you just open them. Yeah, you, you open them, you can have whatever's in them. What you getting? So I got two hundred and eighty-eight polymer and a journeyman flat helmet. Oh yeah. 302 armor. Oh, that's nutty. Miner's helmet! Yeah, I know, yeah. That's all from them things, and that dinosaur gate as well was in one of them. Oh yeah, the Mastercraft torch. The legendary Mastercraft torch. <laughs> yeah, boy. 
What is this? Do you actually f***ing roleplay? What? In what's in here? Bedroom. This is your bed's room, okay, okay. What yeah. else we got? Got the, this is the cook shack with benches. Got benches around the outside, look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a jelly room. Yeah, it's the power room. Forgot you can make these! Right on the edge of these though, you can't quite... Oh, you got to walk around this way or go out the other door. Oh. Yeah, balls that up a little bit. Character. I like it. Yeah, a bit of character, yeah. Look at all the pillars as well. Oh yeah, we're farming stone, boy. We're going to have a city on the bridge in no time. So I said in uh, the other episode, or one of the problems I was having down here was metal. But I've been and got the Ankylo, heavy metal. And obviously we've got... Uh, Hoogan, the Argent now, so I can carry him around with me. Uh, what I've noticed with the metal, when you're farming it, you kind of just got to set yourself a route. In the crater forest, I've got a little route, basically just goes around the um, centre of the crater forest really, it's basically a ring. I've just been doing like a lap of that, let's drop it down here, see if we can uh, farm this underwater metal. And yeah, and if you do it in like a circuit, it's not too bad, I think. They've kind of made it so this is what you have to do now, rather than like just farm one spot constantly, you can just move around. And it's still a bit um, a bit painstaking kind of thing, but it's not too bad. And uh, what I've noticed is the metal nodes, they just seem to spawn in certain locations most of the time. So once you've found them, they'll always respawn there. And then normally if you sort of check in particular areas when you're looking for new ones, like in the corners of rock clusters, quite often find along the edge of cliffs. By the time I do my little circuit I've been doing and get back to the base after I've done a full circuit and if I start again it's all respawned. But I haven't been straying too far off of the um, for the water's edge really, like I've just been following the water that goes around the middle of the crater. That's like the first circuit I've done and it seemed to be alright. If I just want to grab some metal quick to feed the gatchers, that's what I've been doing. But yeah, it is quite spread out, but it's not too bad. The other thing for me is uh, we're not on a super busy server. There's only me and the rest of the tribe, really. So obviously it's not getting overly farmed. But like I said, it seems to respawn rather quick. By the time I've done my circuit, go back to the base and load everything and then um, go out again. As long as I go the way I went to start with, it, it's like respawned. But this is kind of how they seem to spawn it. So they're like on the edge of like a little... I know it's not a massive cliff, but like on the edge of like some rocks and the cliff, cliff type faces, this sort of area is where you seem to find the metal. So whenever you see anything that looks like this bit, just go and have a look and you'll probably find some nodes. Quite often, the uh, waterfalls are good to go and have a look at when you're looking for metal. And obviously where I went underwater earlier picking stuff up, that was um, at the bottom of a waterfall. Heavy Metal's got just over 4k metal, from not even a full circuit of what I've been doing, so... I know there's plenty more if I need to go and get some more. It's not too bad really, and obviously you've got almost an infinite supply of cement paste down here. There's so many beaver dams. Just in the um, bit of water below where the mining town is, there's loads. There's always like uh, four or five spawned together, with a few hundred cement paste in each one. And that's just in that one bit of water. If you go around the entire crater forest, just just follow the water around basically, like they are everywhere. So yeah, it's actually not too bad. There's another clump down here, look. This is at the bottom of some of the, like, the roots that are showing out of the tree. How much is that now? Almost 5k. But yeah, not too bad. I'm uh, happy with that. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than it is. But yeah, I hope that's a little bit helpful. So I was worried when I come down here as to whether or not I'd be able to get any metal. But I'll get these guys back now to the uh, base and... Get all this smelting up and feeds them to the gatchers probably. If you want some more information on the gatchers and how their loot system works and the production wheel and all that stuff, um, check out the last episode in, in this series on Extinction. And uh, there's a breakdown in the same episode for the Snow Owl as well, which is pretty helpful, I think. So go and check that out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more uh, regular videos. I'm trying to do uh, a couple every five days. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss them follow me on on twitter and instagram at moshman gaming and uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed guys and i'll see you in the next one cheers